Hey guys, so the day is finally here. I have been talking about this and teasing this for quite some time, but my jewelry line has finally launched and I have started with some uh, 14 karat gold chain necklaces and some 14 karat gold and diamond huggy earrings. So I'm gonna leave, of course, down below in the description box, a link to my website. It is the same site as where I launched my wraps uh, last December. So I did just wanna talk briefly about uh, the jewelry, the jewelry line, uh, the, the chains and the huggies, they're pretty self-explanatory, but I did wanna let you know that um, I worked very, very closely with Stephanie Windsor. She has become a very good friend of mine and we kind of started working together like late last year. Um, I was just falling like head over heels in love with like gold chains. And so we worked out, you know, a discount code for my followers and, you know, we just got to talking and that's pretty much how I came up with the idea of launching my own. And so in talking to her and getting to know her, um, she actually encouraged me to start a jewelry line. Of course, it's her passion and she could see that I was uh, growing very passionate about it. I've always really been in love with jewelry, but I've always loved like rings and bracelets. And so necklaces for me, chains have been this sort of like new passion of mine. And she said, you know, just let me know whenever you're ready you know, we can talk about it. And I thought, you know, why not? I, I wanted to do something um, similar to her chains because I just love them so much. I think that they're just staples, staples uh, for any jewelry collection. And, um, you know, ever since I started playing around with these gold chains, I, as you guys probably have noticed, I have not been able to take them off. I usually always have one. If I don't have at least one on, it's because I forgot to put it on after the shower or something. And so what I didn't want to compromise on was quality, but we did kind of go back and forth with different ideas as to how to differentiate myself from her brand, obviously, and also how to make the chains a little bit more accessible. So what we've come up with are, these are 14 karat gold, 100% 14 karat gold. They're not plated, they're not filled, but the links of them are semi hollow. So they are a little bit lighter than if they were solid gold. And they're also a little bit uh, more inexpensive uh, than solid gold chains. And I thought that was perfect. I didn't really have to compromise on the idea of having 100% 14 karat gold because that's what I love um, about these chains. They feel so great. There's something about real gold that just, it just feels so good. It warms up in this really special way um, on your skin and over time, it's not like it rusts or that it tarnishes or does anything like that. Gold is actually very resilient to that, but it does develop a nice patina and it just gets really, really buttery in a way. And I, I just love the way gold ages. And so I'm just thrilled that I could bring you some chains that are a little bit more accessible. And in working with uh, Stephanie, who, if you guys don't know, Stephanie Windsor is a very well-known um, antique and classic jewelry dealer. And she also has her own line. Um, and she's been doing it her entire life. And so she has like all the connections you would ever need. And, you know, in dealing with, and what I've learned, you know, dealing with creating my wraps and, you know, dealing with these like really artisan mills in Italy, it's very difficult to kind of get in with them. Um, they have their client roster and it's difficult if they don't know who you are and if you don't have like a ton of money to start something. So Stephanie was just so kind in allowing me to use her connections and we played around with so many different, I mean, you can imagine there's so many different styles of chains. And what I wanted to start with was something that I would say could be like the foundation of any kind of like fine jewelry collection. And so this curb chain I have available just in this 16 inch length because I just think it looks so cool. It looks great by itself. It looks great as like the base piece for any kind of layering. Um, you'll see it modeled by itself. And of course I'll have more pictures on the website if you wanna check it out if you're interested. Um, but again, I only have this in the 16 inch length. It's sort of a choker. And, you know, at first when I was kind of auditioning pieces and talking to Stephanie about what I like and what I would like to see more of, I wanted something that was 18 inches. Uh, but because this is a curb chain, there's like a thickness to it. If it hangs down too low, it starts to turn over. So it doesn't lay quite as flat. So the 16 inch actually lays really, really nicely around the neck. And so, 
you know, being someone that doesn't really like a shorter necklace, I don't really like chokers i'd like ones that hang down a little bit longer this one i just thought was so much more flattering and so i decided to go with the 16 inch and then next i have the oval chain necklace and this is um again 14 karat gold it is semi hollow but it has a nice enough weight to it obviously it's not as heavy as a solid gold oval chain necklace would be um, but it has enough of a weight there that it sits really really nicely um, so I have this in two different lengths 18 inches and 20 inches so this is the 20 inch chain and I like wearing the 20 inch chain with tops like this um, because I find 18 sometimes if it's a little bit short like this it'll like fall into your shirt you know a little bit more often i don't know if you guys ever come across that anyway that could just be a personal thing for me um but i'll pair the 16 inch with the 20 inch oval chain um often when i'm wearing tops like this if i'm wearing like a button down shirt that's like open i'll wear it with the 18 inch just so it's like a little bit closer together and then finally i have the paper clip chain and this chain is um i just think such a nice like balance between all three of these. And you know, I, I chose these three different styles because I think they work really well together, but they're also different enough. So the paperclip chain is the most, you know, it's the most uh, modern, it's the most uh, delicate looking out of the three. So I have the paperclip chain in 20 inch and then 24 inch. So I'm wearing the 24 inch here. And again, this is semi hollow as well, but it has enough weight to it that it hangs really really nicely so those are all of my chains so there's basically five different chains that i'm carrying one of the curb two of the oval and then two of the paper clip and these are all made in italy um, and then i had been as you guys know i've been wearing these gold and diamond huggies for months now basically because i love them <laughs> i didn't want to take them off but they're so easy to wear and i really just wanted to test them out what was it like to sleep with them shower with them work out with them you know, get dressed with them, how they looked in every single kind of outfit. And these are probably the most versatile earrings I've ever owned. They just go with absolutely everything. And because they are so petite and the diamond pave is in the front here, it just adds like a little bit of like a hint of luxury there. Nothing too ostentatious. You know, we don't have like a huge globe of like diamond hanging down or anything like that. So I just think they work for pretty much any occasion. So I literally have been wearing them nonstop since I think like December, every single day, every so often I'll take them out and just kind of like clean them up a little bit because I'll get foundation on them or whatever. And I have been wearing the yellow gold with the white diamonds um, and those are available as well. But today, and what I'm also carrying on the site are these rose gold with black diamonds. And I just love this combination. As you guys know, I don't have it on now, but I have that Hermes bangle bracelet, which is rose gold and it has a black enamel. And I just love that it matches. And I have some other Hermes pieces that are rose gold and they have like black accents. I personally like love rose gold. And so I wanted to be able to kind of throw in a rose gold somewhere. So I thought it would be nice to start with these Huggies. So again, I have these in rose gold with black diamonds and then yellow gold with white diamonds. And these are made in India. And again, thanks to Stephanie, she knows the best artisans there that do like the best like pave diamond work. And these are just beautiful. And I'm, as you guys know, I'm not like gentle with my things. And so when I wear something, I really, really wear it. And I was really putting these to the test because they are small. And so, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, maybe they're a little bit fragile. Not at all, not in the least bit. And they're so easy to put on and take off. So let me just show you the closure of these because I don't know if you can see these on the site very clearly, but here is the wire that goes into your ear and then it just clicks shut and that's it. And then to open them, all you have to do is like press down a little bit on the wire and then it kind of comes out of its click and then you can open it back up. So really, really easy. I love that too. And I really like for earrings that I'm gonna wear all the time, sleep in them, shower, you know, do everything, work out, do everything in them. I really like earrings that don't have any kind of, anything sticking out basically. Like, you know, studs where they have the post sticking out. I find that, you know, I can't sleep in those obviously. So I really like styles where it's completely closed in the back. So these three chains and these Huggies are my first offering for you guys. I am hoping to expand the line. Um, I know Stephanie is really, 
rooting for me to expand the line. She has sent me so many beautiful samples. It was very, very difficult to whittle it down to just these three styles. It took me so long and like auditioning so many different combinations to figure out what I think looks like the nicest, the combo that like looks the coolest. Um, but yes, I hope to expand the line uh, in the future. Many of you have asked me if I'm going to be doing white gold. Um, I would like to do white gold for the fall winter. I would also like to throw in some more rose gold pieces since that's my personal favorite. So all of that is definitely going to be coming soon. And then I did want to just talk a little bit about um, ordering and a deal that I have going on through Mother's Day. So I did want to get these chains up and available to you guys uh, for Mother's Day. I know that uh, jewelry is always a popular gift choice for Mother's Day. So I did want to make these available for you then. So um, if you purchase two or more pieces of jewelry, you can use the code Mother's Day 21 and get 10% off. Um, shipping within the U.S. is free. Um, it will be insured for the total cost, uh, so that's quite a savings for you guys as well. Shipping is available for international. Uh, it's basically the same deal as my MW wraps, so free shipping for the U.S., international shipping is available, and uh, the Mother's Day 21 code only works on jewelry, so two or more pieces of jewelry and you'll get 10% off. And I almost forgot, so uh, because Stephanie Windsor does offer these chains in solid gold, so again mine are semi-hollow, which makes them a little lighter and also makes them a little more inexpensive. Um, she wanted me to offer you guys a 10% off of her site if you wanted like the solid gold version. So the code for that is Michelle10, all lowercase, and you can use that on the Stephanie Windsor site. And of course, I will leave a link to that down below in my description box as well. So in terms of timing uh, for shipping, I have most of my inventory here in Vegas. The remainder of my inventory is in New York waiting to come over here. So Italy experienced like a semi lockdown due to COVID. And so things were kind of coming in piecemeal. And so Stephanie wanted to get to me what she could um, so that I could get going. So I will be taking orders for the inventory that I have here in Vegas and then the inventory that's coming to me from New York. So my first orders, those will be going out within like a day or so. And then any subsequent orders, those are gonna be going out within like a week. I think they'll be getting here from New York. So once I sell through the inventory that I have here in Vegas, the inventory that's coming to me from New York, um, it's going to be out of stock on my site. And then once that happens, what I'll do is uh, put more inventory up so that I can take pre-orders from you guys. And then we'll place an order from Italy and get them probably within a month. But I will definitely stay in communication with you guys. If you please will follow me on Instagram under by Michelle Wong. I'll leave the information down below in my description box also. I will keep you guys updated as to what's going on with inventory or whatever. Um, I didn't want to just take orders um, half that I'd be able to ship out and half I'd have to order from Italy. And I just think it would be too complicated. So I'm only opening up orders for inventory that I know that I have, um, that I have in hand and that are on its way to me just from New York, not from Italy. So I know that's what I have. And then I will open it up for pre-orders for things that we can order from Italy. I hope that makes sense. But because I'm like a one woman operation here and this is completely self-funded, I didn't want to get like too ahead of myself. So I'm sure you guys uh, understand, but I will keep in contact with you guys and keep you updated through my Instagram. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, which I'm really kind of excited about, is I got these pouches made <laughs> with my logo on there. So all of your jewelry will arrive in one of these pouches. And I also wanted to mention, there is a picture on my Instagram. My logo is also um, stamped onto the clasps of the necklaces, which is such a small thing compared to the entire necklace and, and compared to this entire launch. But I just... It, I was so excited when I saw my little logo on each like lobster claw clasp. I was like, that almost brought me to tears. I was so happy. It's just something I never ever thought I would ever see in my entire life. So I'm just, I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys. So before I leave you, I do just wanna give you an update on my MW wraps. So I did end up reordering Poppy Deep and citrine. So those were the three most popular colors. Um, so I did reorder those for hopefully for like a mid to late May arrival. Um, I also added two new colors, which will be coming uh, with those MW wraps. So I'll have five different colors for the spring uh, summer collection. Um, and then I did a completely different style of wrap uh, with some similar colors and then some completely different colors, again, for like the spring summer weather. They're like lighter weight. So those 
are due to come mid to late May. I always cross my fingers because you never know with shipping, with COVID, with Italy. It's just like, I just never know. Every time I get an update, I'm like, okay, <laughs> what can I do? So anyway, I just, again, want to thank you guys. And I thanked you guys when I talked about my MW wraps, but I just, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support, for your encouragement. I mean, your encouragement really is what gave me the gumption to, to even do any of this. And I cannot thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. So I hope you enjoy this launch. There will be more information and more pictures and everything, clearer pictures <laughs> than me sitting here on the website. Um, and I'll leave all that information down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you soon in another video.